You want to trade just like me. You want to succeed just like me. That's kind of weird. With years of journaling, years of trading and charting, years of learning, and years of mystery throughout this entire journey, there's one thing that I've completely mastered, how to make money. This doesn't need to be a sad process. If anything, this will build character. At this point, I've turned myself into a system, doing the same thing over and over and over again. I'm going to keep it a bug. Waking up is probably one of the hardest things for me. It sucks. I hate it. But when you get up early, you're increasing your productivity. You have so much more of the day to work with, and it just feels so good to be up early and actually take action on your day. Every morning I go right to the range. The reason why I'm showing you so many things outside of my life other than just trading is because again, this is such a bigger thing than just taking trades. I have to do the same thing every day in a system, replicate that to my charts and actually have a better impact on my trades. Also, it's just so important to have a hobby outside of trading. I used to get stuck just looking at my chart for hours and it would really mess up my mental taking stupid trades and just messing around. Do something every day that you love outside of trading. Just how I'm taking the time to learn and practice golf every single day is the same approach that I have for trading and you should too no matter what hobby you're looking at after waking my mind up and getting ready for the day now we start trading potential short entry if we keep pushing down a little bit all right I'm in at 85 on shorts okay I'm just gonna get stopped out like instantly and oh my gosh one tick oh my we're one tick okay wow. I just got stopped out bro god damn a lot of L's recently bro I mean at least they're, they've been good on ours, managed. See if we can get under low a day. Obviously rocking with the bear sentiment. This is an example again, the open was very volatile this morning. Price has been okay. I've noticed that when we do have that super strong open, it's always continued the next 30 minutes to hour of just range. And that's what we're doing again. We did it all last week too. Okay, I've got an order set at 242 for shorts. All right, we just got answered in on shorts. 242. Bro, I'm about to get literally stopped out in 10 seconds. I'm, I'm literally about to get stopped out. I just got stopped out. Wow, bro. Wow. That was a minute, bro. Not even. I used to wait for closes. I don't wait for closes anymore because I just noticed there's really not a big difference between the risk of me holding them longer and actually the amount of times it works out. But what I when I was talking about at the very end of last week's university just about the whole self-analysis thing it's up to me now to look at this the only person that knows exactly how i like to trade and how i like to do things especially in the trading space is me and that goes same thing for you whenever you know you have you might have a bad week might have a bad month whatever it's up to you slash me right now to figure out what i can do to fix critique analyze what I've been doing. I mean, the simple answer to this, I just haven't liked the price action, but I've still been taking trades. You know, I know what's best for me. I know it works. You know, I've gotten this far. See, I'd be up 26 points right now if I just waited for that close. And honestly, I might have to start waiting for closes again, because that's what I might have to start doing and maybe go a little bit lighter on my positions. Because like I said, if I'm not waiting for a close, there's times where I could get 20 point loss, 30 point loss. Um, because it could just completely rip through one of my zones and you know if I'm waiting for closes I have to just sit there and let it happen But kind of something you have to accept when you get into the trade opening the position a little bit lighter than I normally do The losses have been managed, you know 10 point losses isn't too bad But a big thing that I like to do before every week as well as the individual day that I'm trading is look at Forex factory And that's gonna show me all of my news releases for the week That's gonna give me kind of a layout every single day and especially since today is monday i'm kind of giving myself the weekly outlook what times of the day i can trade what days that i can trade in general tomorrow for example powell speaking at one o'clock i don't know if i'm going to take a trade because again you guys probably know it's kind of scary when he gets on that mic so i think there's gonna be a lot of anticipation going forward on tuesday but every day i will check this before i even start trading in the morning but since today is monday i kind of get the weekly outlook whereas you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, when I'm looking at it, I'm just focusing on the days. So when we look at a day like today, for example, um, since we just got done trading, 8.30, we had three red folders released. The market's not even open yet, so we're just looking for the reaction of those. But we have a 10 o'clock release, which came out, and then we don't really have news the rest of the day. So I have a lot of windows to take trades. I could trade from 9.30 to 10, or from 10 to 10.30. We're just trying to avoid that 10 o'clock news. We cannot be in a trade when that 10 o'clock news comes out because there's a, there's a chance that it could just implode in one direction. So we just need to avoid those news days. It really helps you kind of build a plan for the day. But when I do the same thing every day, and when I trade the same way every day, I get consistency. And that's what everybody wants, right? I'm gonna have losses, I'm gonna have wins. Today was a bad day. I'm transparent about it, it's okay. Because I did the same thing that I do every day, and I know that it's consistent, and I know that I can be successful with it, I'm okay with a losing day. 
it's gonna happen. I did nothing that I don't normally do. We just came out with a loss. It's unfortunate. Like I was saying, my favorite hobby, golf. I'm gonna have bad golf days. I'm gonna have good golf days. It's all about understanding that that's okay. I can go back and I can practice more. I can go to the range every single day and get better. Now, the main thing obviously is a strategy and that's gonna take a while if you don't already have one. Find a way to make your strategy as simple as possible in a way that you can literally do it over and over again every single day. You guys know I alert my trades and I have a discord and we talk in live trade every day. If you have a way to alert your trades, quote unquote, it's going to help you fight against those trades that you probably shouldn't take. For me, I have people following me. I have people believing that if they take my trade, they could obviously make some money. Doing that makes me have to be extremely confident in my trades because I have people's money on the line. Make a fake discord and have an alert channel set up and track your trades in there. I can't take stupid trades if I have people believing in me. But in any way you possibly can, find a way to make your at least first couple hours of the day robotic over and over and over and over again eliminating emotion and building consistency a lot of this battle is solely mental there's no mystery in my day i know exactly what i'm going to do every single day do yourself a favor and recap your trades in the afternoon look back at what you maybe did right or wrong self-analyze yourself you are the only one that can control your mind do the best you can to analyze it if you had a bad day okay i promise you can pull some positives out of it and move on with your life but i can't emphasize enough having hobbies outside of this this will drive you insane i know a lot of people's goal is just to get financially free and trading is an amazing way to do that i hate that word by the way it's just the best i can use for an example i'm forever grateful for it and i'm thankful that i'm in this position but after a while this is just gonna be another day on a day like today where i had a bad day i'm just excited and i'm ready to move on to tomorrow it's all about managing our losses and actually taking advantage of the winners we trade live every day in my discord it's a super amazing area obviously you can talk to me and all my partners every single day trade live talk to everybody get alerts get educated just get more motivated and more encouraged to be around this every single day you have the chance to get mentored by us or even just you know be there to ask any questions you have when i first got into trading i didn't have anybody to reach out to i didn't have any resources and it was really bad for me that's the whole reason why we created this in the first place i've so thankfully changed so many people's lives and we've probably made over like 20 million in profits by now since like i think it's been around two years anybody watching this that is in the core y'all are family anybody that's interested here's a code fuck it <laughs> after trading i just go right to the gym and take all my pain away and then i'll get back and usually i just kick back i like to do a little bit of journaling chill on my phone i play some mlb the show sometimes too but i usually go to bed now pretty early just because i gotta get up early now so that's honestly it i know it's not you going to get in your lamborghini and trade on your private jet and all that stuff this is legit this is just me i don't do anything crazy i don't really try to flex on anybody i made it i'm good i don't know what i gotta prove to other people i'm i'm chilling i just try to give you guys the most genuine outlook on this and i hope you're able to take something from this because i want to have an impact i hope this shows that anybody really can do this you have the potential it's all about you just taking action and getting after it any struggle or growing pain you're going through an hour trading i've done the same thing everyone's done the same exact thing you know i just hope i can help you with that process all you got to do is subscribe bro and that's all i ask I man i really appreciate it but after this man start to take action write some stuff down make a little game plan for yourself see what you can do to change your life tomorrow it's not going to be a one-day fix but at least you can kind of get yourself in that right direction right away who knows where you'll end up